Hey, what's up everyone? JT Sports Cards here back with another video. And today we have a little, a little throwback um, considering now it's been three years since this draft class, but we have 2020 Revolution NBA basketball here. Um, the reason why I have this and we're opening this um, is my local card shop had a Black Friday deal at 20% off all basketball products. So I picked up this and another basketball box that you will see in a future video, probably the one after this. So stay tuned for that. Um, and so the reason why I got Revolution is I've seen a couple videos of this um, and especially the Chinese New Year. Uh, the, for the price, it seemed like it had a lot of potential. Um, and so I thought I'd pick this up and I got the 2020 draft class. Uh, just because I think this draft class has a lot of potential, a lot of young stars that are starting to emerge now. Um, and from being from Minnesota, Timberwolves fan, it has Anthony Edwards and uh, Jaden McDaniels, who I collect. And I think they have really great potential and is going to lead uh, this Timberwolves team going forward in the future. Um, so yeah, first time. Really, I haven't opened up any hobby uh, this is the first hobby box um, opening up on this channel. Uh, really excited to open this up. Something a little different um, for Revolution, the Chinese New Year. Um, you just get these 12, those 12 parallels, and you do have chances at numbered cards. This is really the, the ceiling that they have here. Um, so it's kind of low risk, high reward, I'd say, because you get the Emerald to 88 and the Gold to 8. You can also pull autographs, you can see um, through the plastic there. So I thought this was interesting. I thought you could a lot of get, you can get some cool stuff out of it. And really the only thing you're chasing are the numbered cards and the autographs, which are actually numbered to 50. You can't see there. Um, if you wanna read this a little closer, you can go ahead and pause the video. Um, but yeah, there's really not much else to it. Um, autographs um yeah so let's get into this uh yeah excited open hobby haven't really had a chance i was home uh where i'm at there's no local card shop so when i went home for thanksgiving i stopped at the local card shop and they're running this deal uh so revolution here yeah first time open up hobby in a long time especially a hobby box um so there's 12 packs per box, five cards uh, per pack. And let's see if we can get this. See this, how you can tell I haven't opened up Hobby. Because I can't even, oh, there we go. Boom. That looks sweet. So, yeah, we'll get going here. So it looks like you get one Chinese New Year parallel per pack. I'm um, not really sure what those really look like entirely. Um, but I do think... Revolution does look really cool. I like the design of it. And for $79, that's how much I paid for the box. I don't think you can really go wrong. You don't see hobby boxes um, that low in price, especially for this draft class. So Rudy Gobert, Tyler Bay, base. And so I'm guessing this is the New Year Revolution, or the Chinese New Year parallel of Goria, Dragic, Jarrett Culver, and a Michael quarter base so hopefully we can see a numbered card out of this box or hopefully even an autograph i think the autographs are pretty hard to hit um but hopefully just seeing a top rookie parallel would definitely be worth it Devonte graham lamarcus aldridge there's a killian hayes uh parallel new year parallel not bad. Uh, Norman Powell and then a Russell Westbrook base. So let's see. Jaron Jackson Jr. There's a Zeke Naji. Andrew Wiggins. New Year's. John Wall. And a Terry Rozier. So the thing is, with this draft class being so far in the future, you kind of get, you already kind of know who's going to be good, who's not. People in this draft class is already out of the lead, um, or they get no minutes. So hopefully we can get one of those top rookies here. Um, Alfred Payton, Draymond Green, 
There's a nice Chinese New Year's Jada McDaniels for the PC. I'll love to see it. That will go great. Already a great box now, in my opinion. And then a Jonas Valanciunas. Yeah, like I said too, there is another basketball box that I got at uh, my card shop that I was making a video out of. Um, so make sure you like and subscribe to uh, get notified and turn on the notification bell when I post that. There's a Denny Avdia base and then a Kevin Herter, DeAndre Ayton, Drew Holiday. So, so far really nothing yet. Um, I hope I didn't go past the Emerald Bell, but I feel like I would know once I see it. Chris Middleton, Kyle Lowry, Nurkic, Devin Booker, and a Steph Curry. So far, only two rookie parallels so far. Hopefully, we get a couple more going here. Kevin Durant, Xavier Tillman, Marvin Bagley, Brandon Clark. Oh, looks like we skipped Bagley. Was didn't even notice that. And then a Brandon Ingram. Let me know what you think in the comments is the 2020 draft class or the 2021 or even the 2022 draft class uh, you think has the most potential going forward and which one that you're, you collect the most or um, which player you look for the most or collect. Uh, there's a Nick Richard troll hornet. Um, this is what I didn't miss about 2020. All the hornet rookie trolls. I wish that was Lamelo, but Murray and... Hate them. All right, looks like we have four packs left here. I know these also aren't the most valuable, but I think these are a fun rip. Tobias Harris, Malachi Flynn, and another Tobias Harris parallel. Paul George, and a DeMar DeRozan. Yeah, also let me know down in the comments if you've ripped Revolution in the past and what you got out of it. What was your favorite hit? What was your biggest pull out of it? Um, yeah, let's hope we can get something good here coming out of the last pass. Roger Cole Anthony. That's another young star that I think has potential um, in the Chinese New Year parallel. Definitely like that. Dame and Laurie Markinen. So two packs left here. Get the box out of the way. Then we'll do a recap. Let's see, two packs left. Let's see if we can get a number card. Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, base. Not, would be good two years ago, or maybe even last year, but he's in the G League. Hopefully, for a strong recovery here, that will come back. There's a lot of potential. There's a Donovan Mitchell, a Clay Thompson, and then a Jaw, second year Jaw. All right, down to the final pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack mojo here. Let's see. We have a Kevin Herter, Jamal Murray. And a Anthony Davis. Is this a... Oh, Anthony Davis. This is a numbered one. Uh, to 88. 62 of 88. Numbered Anthony Davis. And the last two here is a Blake Griffin and Carl Anthony Towns. So not a bad pack. Ended it with a numbered card. I might have to go back and... um. See if I missed any other ones. I don't believe I did. That one was pretty was faced differently. But now we'll do a little recap of all kind of our hits. Not really a whole lot of hits. Um, 
but we do have the Anthony Davis numbered to 88 here, 62 of 88. Uh, he's playing a lot better. Hopefully he can stay healthy. Cole Anthony, uh, Chinese New Year parallel, Jada McDaniels, uh, definitely two of my favorite. Uh, Killian Hayes, parallel, Mitchell, Wiseman base, uh, and then just a bunch of other base and other rookies. That one's not numbered. But yeah, so there is the revolution. Uh, let me know down in the comments what was your favorite one. Uh, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want to get notified when we do post that other box that I got at the card shop. That one should be a lot more fun. Um, revolution for the price. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Um, a lot of cool stuff you can get. Autographs, low number cards. Um, yeah, that's really it. Revolution rating real quick. I'd give it for the price and what you can get. Um, I'd give it a 5.6. Um, if you want a fun rip hobby, especially can't get any lower than that now. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, see you on the next video.